Let's bring in Fox News headlines 24-7 sports and entertainment reporter Mike Gunzelman. Mike, great to see you on the program. Look, putting aside the fact that he could break the Grand Slam record, that's obviously very notable to sports fans. To me, isn't the outcry less to do with Djokovic and more to do with the draconian Australian COVID policies in the first place? Yeah, I mean, this is just a, a wild situation altogether, Todd, because I, I actually put the blame on a lot of people here. Djokovic probably should have known the law a little bit better, or at least entrusted uh, better people before he was going to fly into Australia. Now, of course, he thought that he pro followed all the proper procedures and, uh, and did have this medical exemption, but... You got to know the laws before you go somewhere. For example, you know, if, if women are going to go to a uh, certain Middle Eastern countries, you want to know exactly what you're getting yourself into. If an American wants to go to North Korea, you don't go to North Korea in general. So you have to know what you're getting into before you go to a foreign country, especially during these times. But you're exactly right, because this goes beyond just Djokovic. It goes to the fact that the Australian uh, uh, country in itself right now, these policies are insane. And this is not a good look for the country of Australia, but I, I understand where the outrage is coming from, from the people, okay? They haven't been able to see family members from other countries. A lot of them in certain parts of Australia can't go to restaurants, can't go to bars. They are in a lockdown. So when they see somebody come in, just because he is the greatest tennis player right now, they're frustrated. They're frustrated and mad at Djokovic, and they're definitely angry at their own government right now for these insane mandates that are happening. Okay, but Mike, before we go to the next topic, I, I just just want to point out, uh, Djokovic is worth, what, $220 million. If he were to win the, yeah. this 21st, I mean, he'd get a little more than two. Why not just say, hey, and you take a stand at these policies, be like, I'm not going to compete. Well, if he, uh, I, I completely agree with you to that, uh, to an extent. Maybe he just doesn't want all the attention that he's getting. Essentially, right now, he's being, he's a political pawn, and he's being used as an example. And because the prime minister has an upcoming election, he has a ton of pressure on him as well, because if he gives him an exemption, well, the people are going to be very angry because they're going to be like, well, why'd you give it to Djokovic and nobody else? Now, will he change his stance, perhaps, Djokovic, that is, and be like, hey, I'm being used as an example right now. I am going to stand up against this authoritarian type government. Sure, but, he, but he's, not, he's not a citizen of Australia. So he either has to embrace this full on or... As we see right now, he's just stuck inside a detention right. facility, and he's worth over $200 million. It's, it's just a crazy thing all around, and it just shows how insane these policies are, and it's dividing right. the people against each other. There's a lot of hatred and animosity right now between the vaccinated and unvaccinated, and especially these governmental policies. Hands down, no doubt about it. we got to go quick on this. Yeah, we got to go quick on this final topic. The NFL drawing up Super Bowl contingency plans in case COVID forces a move from L.A. Potentially, they're looking at Dallas. Uh, keep in mind, events like the Grammys and Sundance are already postponed or going virtual. Look, the NFL makes contingency plans for every single Super Bowl. But, Mike, what are the chances that this time they could have to use them? Well, I, I think this actually could very well happen because, as you just mentioned, the Grammys have already been postponed. We're seeing a lot more hysteria on postponing events, concerts getting pushed back and everything. It's all about timing, but timing is a double-edged sword right now. They do have five weeks until the Super Bowl, but because it is the Super Bowl, they have to figure out what they're going to do sooner than later. On top of everything else, California is obviously an absolute mess. It's a liberal hellhole right now, and they have 1,800-plus healthcare workers from out of state in their own hospitals right now because they're so understaffed. Are you really going to bring in all the festivities surrounding the Super Bowl, which is more than just the game? I don't know. So as yeah. of right now, if the cases do not go down, I do not believe that the Super Bowl is going to be held in Los wow. Angeles. And, and get ready, Dallas. Wow. Yeah, and Mike, and yep. then they're talking to Texas, obviously, where it's free and open. So, okay, Mike Gunzelman, yep. thanks so much. A lot going on in the sports thanks. world. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.